to do this, but it's long overdue. I have to do this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't do this. I can't do it. Britta, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, Marina, look, I, I think it's time that you tell your subscribers the truth. It's been a really long time and I think, I think you just need to be honest right now. Remember Nike? <sighs> Nike. You know, it's our motto, just do it. I think it's time. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you guys are probably expecting to see Daryl or Brittany or the new girl, but today it's just me, Marina, or how some of you guys know me as, Gypsy. So I've had something that I've needed to talk to you guys about for some time now, but it's just been really, really hard to sit down and make the video because, yeah, it just... It just sucks. But here we are, and today's the day I'm getting up the courage and finally making this video. A lot of you guys have noticed that I haven't posted any videos about the Mustangs in a long time. And a lot of you guys have been asking tons of questions and wondering how they're doing and all of that. And I've just been kind of vague with you on what's been going on. But the truth is, is I actually had to sell them. Now, before you freak out, please just hear me out. I had multiple reasons that I felt like it was the best decision for me and for them to sell them on Craigslist for $1. First of all, the economy has just been crazy. I mean, inflation, gas prices, everything. And every dollar counts, you know? And when I got in my car accident, I wasn't able to work with the horses or even take care of them. And Zach refused to help. He wouldn't do any of the chores. And so I really didn't have much of a decision. I just, I really didn't see any other way um, other than to do that. Plus, not to mention, I have gotten a lot of comments during the last couple years of working with Mustangs that I shouldn't be working with Mustangs. And all of those rude and obnoxious comments, I felt like were actually really right, as they often are. I just felt like in order to honor all of the naysayers, I needed to get rid of them. The Mustangs, I mean. Anyways, I hope you guys can understand and that you guys can support me, even if my decisions seem irrational or crazy, that you guys can just give me unconditional love and support regardless of what my actions are. Enough about that. I know you guys were probably expecting to see a comedy video or something, but I just had to be honest with you guys. Anyways, I hope that you guys have an amazing April 1st, or in other words, April Fool's Day, and hopefully you realize that this is a joke. <laughs> and if you didn't by now, you probably have the lowest opinion of me. And that's okay too. So in order to not spoil this April Fool's Day joke for everybody else, rather than commenting and saying, ha ha, April Fool's, just drop a unicorn emoji in the comments and you can say whatever you want and I'll know that you know that you're in on the joke because you posted a unicorn, which is like my favorite animal, as you guys know. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful April Fool's Day. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. I couldn't do it, Britta. It's April Fool's, so I just passed it off as a joke. Maybe like half of the people will know. I just... I have to break it to them gently. <sighs>